Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss O'Malley and I teach third grade at the Elmwood School. Today, we'll be learning about the Declaration of Independence. Before we begin talking about the Declaration of Independence, we're going to review some important events that led up to the Declaration. We'll do this review by watching a short video. April 18, 1775, some 700 British soldiers were sent to the small town of Concord to capture weapons held by colonial militia. Several dozen armed militiamen were waiting in the town of Lexington on the road to Concord. The British ordered them to leave, but a shot suddenly rang out. Both sides began firing. The battle was brief, but left eight colonists dead and ten more wounded. News of the British march spread to many nearby towns. Hundreds of angry militiamen gathered and fought the British at Concord and as they returned to Boston. The rebels used the surrounding woodland as cover and fired at the British from all sides. When the British finally reached Boston, nearly 250 soldiers were dead, wounded, or missing. Any hope of peacefully resolving the conflict between Britain and the colonies had vanished in a cloud of smoke. Representatives from the colonies gathered in Philadelphia in a meeting called the Second Continental Congress. They voted to create an army to fight the British. George Washington was named the Army's Commander-in-Chief. Despite the fighting, few colonists openly called for independence. Only one-third of the colonists were for the rebellion, another third were against it, and the remaining third were indifferent. But public opinion began to shift, helped in part by a pamphlet written by an Englishman named Thomas Paine. In common sense, Paine wrote that Britain's king had no right to rule America, and he urged the colonists to declare independence. Paine's powerful words persuaded many colonists to support independence. In June 1776, Congress named a five-man committee to draft a Declaration of Independence, outlining the reasons for separating from Britain. Thomas Jefferson wrote the draft, which eloquently set forth the position of the American revolutionaries. In June 1776, the Continental Congress met for a second time in Philadelphia. There were 56 delegates from the colonies. By this time, the colonies wanted independence from Great Britain. Independence means freedom from the control of another person, group, or government. The leaders of the Continental Congress agreed to break away from Great Britain and start their own country. They also agreed to send a declaration to the king to tell their plans and explain their reasons for breaking away. George Washington was also put in charge of the new Continental Army. The delegates chose Thomas Jefferson from Virginia to write the Declaration of Independence. They also asked John Adams of Massachusetts and Ben Franklin of Pennsylvania to help Thomas Jefferson write the Declaration. Thomas Jefferson took 17 days to write the Declaration of Independence. The words he wrote would inspire people all over the world. What does the Declaration of Independence say? It says that the colonists have rights, basic liberties that cannot be taken away. The colonists believe that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Declaration says that the government should protect these rights. 
and that if the government does not protect the people, they can overthrow it and start a new government. The Declaration also says that governments get their power from the people. In the Declaration, Thomas Jefferson writes that the British Parliament and the King have hurt the colonists. Jefferson lists the ways in the document. The colonists have the right to go to war because the British hurt them instead of protecting them. It is important to remember that when the Declaration of Independence was written, it did not recognize the rights of all people. The rights of African Americans, Native Americans, and women were not recognized. The Declaration of Independence only recognized the rights of white men. On July 4th, 1776, the delegates met at Independence Hall in Philadelphia to vote on the Declaration of Independence. They voted to accept it. John Hancock of Massachusetts was the first to sign. He wrote his name in very large letters so that the king could see it without his spectacles. Signing the Declaration of Independence was a brave thing to do. In the eyes of the king, these men were committing treason. Treason is the crime of trying to hurt your own government. If the colonies lost the war, these men could be put to death. After the vote, the delegates rang a large bell at Independence Hall called the Liberty Bell. The declaration was taken to print shops and copies were made. The next morning, riders leapt on horses and galloped away to deliver copies to all the colonies. George Washington read a copy of the Declaration of Independence to the cheers of his soldiers. About two weeks later in Boston, the Declaration of Independence was read from the balcony of the old State House. The people listened in the street below. The states were on their way to being a new country. It wasn't going to be easy, though. They still had a war to fight. You will now complete an activity on Seesaw.